in Articulate Storyline 360 or Articulate Storyline 3, would you like to know how to make those drag and drop quizzes? Hmm. Well, if you do, watch the video. I'll show you how to do it. In this video, I'm going to show you in Articulate Storyline how to create a drag and drop quiz question. So let's show you how to do it. I've got one here that's using a template. I'm just going to show it to you. I will show you how to though create one from the very beginning. So this is the type of thing we're going to be creating, but um, let's go through the process. And don't forget, like the video, subscribe to the channel. There we go, Articulate Storyline, just about ready. So this is the activity, drag and drop. You drag these images down the bottom into location. Oh, there's a spare one. Press the tick button. Oh, there you go, you're correct. That was lucky, I had no idea what the answer was. So first off, that is drag and drop. If you can, just in case you're wondering. So let's create a new, let's go for a new slide entirely. So new slide, basic layout, create a blank slide. If you go to slides, you want to go for a free form question. And then choose, now we've got templates, but I'm gonna show you how to do this without a template, because you might be using Articulate Storyline 3, which doesn't have the templates. Click on drag and drop, click on insert slide. There you go, it's created a new slide for us down here. Labeled it drag and drop. You can rename that very easily, right click on it, rename. I'll leave it as it is. What you'll notice on this slide though, other than the fact it's completely blank, is on the left, sorry, on the right hand side you have a slide view, which is this, and you have a form view. This is the form view. Now, if you've created any quiz questions, you'll probably be quite familiar with this. It will normally list you know, what the uh, what the question is and what the answer is, uh, or you know, which one's right. Let's go to slide view. Though. Let's go and create ourselves a drag and drop activity. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create something that just looks a little bit nice. So format it, let's do a little shape fill, uh, make it red. And we can say, yeah, these are, there you go, three boxes there. Let's label them A, B, and C. Probably easier if I make them a little bit bigger in the text. Right, I've got three boxes. What I want to do now is have something to drag to those boxes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you with images. So I'm going to create or get a photo. Now I'm going to be using the library, but you can use any image that you want. So get a picture of football. picture of a car let's get one more picture let's get um, a carrot I have no idea why I've chosen a carrot. Then again, I've got no idea why I've chosen a football or car. So these are the objects. In fact, I've got a better idea. Instead of these A, B, and C, let's label them. So let's pretend that this is a quiz for people who don't speak English. And we can say, what you must do is match let's say that this is a quiz for people who are learning English and what they must do is match the uh, the image down here with the text that's on these boxes 
Okay, so we've got everything that we need. Now, what we might want to do is rename these. So picture one, which is the football. It is a lot easier if you do this. Rename that one, which is car. Rename this one. And these rectangles as well, rename them. So let's call it carrot box, because that's the box that we want to put them in. Okay, we've got everything labeled up. Now, go to form view. In form view, you can now see that we've got some boxes to deal with. So, the drag item, so the item that we actually want to move, you can pick what you want the drag item to be, and we want to drag the photos. So we want to drag, in this case, the football, and notice that you can see it highlighted on the right side of the screen. And I want to drop it in the box that's called football. Again, highlighted on the right side of the screen. I want to go for this object, which is the car, and I want to put it into the car box. And I want to have the photo, which is carrot, and I want to put it into the carrot box. If I go back to slide view, this is what it looks like. It hasn't changed in here, but we know in the form view it's changed. And now it's preview this slide, and let's see if it works. First thing you notice, you can drag these objects. You can't drag the boxes though, because they've not been set for dragging, but you can drag these objects. So let's try it out. So I want to drag the carrot to the carrot box. I want to drag the football to the football box and the car to the car box. Click the tick. Correct, well done, you've got it right. And let's try that again and get it wrong. So football to the carrot box, carrot to the football box, and car to the car box. Press the tick, incorrect, you've got it wrong. But now you know how to do the drag and drop. And it doesn't have to be images. So if I was to very quickly do this again, I've just made a duplicate of it. So let's delete those. It's asking me if I'm sure I want to delete them. I do. It's asking me because I'm using them in this uh, in this quiz. And let's add in some um, some text. So let's go for a uh, let's go for a text box. Use it again. There we go, same principle. I'm gonna go back to the form view though, because I need to assign these. So the drag item, I've not labeled them very well, but I have these items. So text box one car, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Football goes to the football box, car goes to the car box, and carrot goes to the carrot box. Go back to the slide view, preview this slide, and I am aware that it doesn't look as good as the one with the photos. So car, car box, football, football box, carrot, carrot box. Well done. And you saw that these objects are being dragged. So it doesn't have to be an image. It can be just a text box. It can be an icon. It can be anything you want, really. So, you know, I'll let you be creative with it. But yes, I could certainly, um, I could certainly label these or, there you go. I could have, I could have these, uh, I could have a circle. Yeah, the circle could be the answer instead. I'll show you which is that one circle. So car, go back to the form view, the car box, and the answer is car. You can see it's highlighted. So you get the idea, you can have whatever you wanted for drag and drop activities, and you can make it look as good as you want as well. So this is obviously very, very, very simple, um, but it gives you something to play with, and now you know how to create a drag and drop activity in Articulate Storyline, and this works in Articulate Storyline 360 and Articulate Storyline 3. 
I hope you found this video useful. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.